Okay, so these rumors about Fernando Alonso possibly, I mean, they're crazy. Now one of them, I mean, I feel like it's pretty possible, but the other one, I don't know. This all started when a tweet appeared from a well-known Spanish Formula One journalist, Albert Fabrega. Now he started out by saying that he heard a rumor in the paddock. And it basically said, look, what I've been told, I hope it is not true. Now, a lot of people pointed to one thing first, which was, okay, Fernando Alonso might be retiring. Which, of course, I mean, if you're an Alonso fan, the end of Fernando Alonso's Formula One career is a day that everybody knows is going to approach sooner or later. But again, it is going to be a sad day for Alonso fans. They're some of the most passionate, uh, some of the most vocal, and sometimes some of the most aggressive in the Formula One space. Now, Fernando retiring would be, again, a big deal, and it wouldn't be the first time, but we know that the next time he steps away from Formula One, I mean, it's going to be for good. I don't think there would be another return arc after that. And a lot of people are pointing to the fact that Aston Martin have dropped off. Fernando Alonso's motivation and his attitude towards the team, which was once very positive, very much believing in that process, is starting to fade away. A lot of people think that he has become impatient and he feels like now hanging around is doing him no good. Along with that, there are the rumors of Aston Martin possibly being sold. Now, again, this is all speculation, but a lot of people did think that Fernando Alonso very well may retire. But there was one other option, and that was that Fernando Alonso would go to Red Bull. Now, I think this would be one of the biggest moves in Formula One that I've seen in my lifetime. I think Fernando at Red Bull, currently the best team with the best driver, Max Verstappen, and having Alonso I mean, it would just be insane. You would very likely get a title battle. And there are numerous people that believe Fernando Alonso is still in a window to win a title at his age. He is that good, that consistent. He simply doesn't age and he hasn't dropped off. He just has not done that. So it would be the move of, I mean, I think it would be the move of the last 10 years, honestly. I think Fernando Alonso having one more shot at a title with the current dominant force in Formula One, I think it would be a huge story, massive. And I think the anticipation for the 2024 season would just be unreal. The idea of Verstappen and Alonso going head to head in what will probably be another really strong season for Red Bull. They are in the pole position to win the championship again. I think it would be immense, huge spectacle. We've all been waiting for Alonso to return to a top team and this is when it would happen. And I think it would be incredible for that move to happen after what has been a year of pure dominance. A lot of fans talking about how bored they have been. A lot of fans sometimes being turned away from the sport, not really wanting to tune into the Grand Prix. Going into 2024 with the idea and the excitement of Alonso versus Verstappen, the veteran two-time world champion, versus the young bloke, a three-time world champion, I mean, I think it would be absolutely crazy. But again, this is all just speculation. Now, a lot of people are getting excited, and Red Bull Spain, the Twitter account, I mean, just sort of poured more fuel on the fire, tweeting this sneaky emoji. Now, look, I mean, Red Bull are the masters of marketing, and I'm sure that admin was just having a little bit of fun. But the one question is, Albert, the journalist who said the rumor he heard, he hopes it doesn't happen. I mean, why wouldn't he want Fernando Alonso to go to Red Bull? I mean, as a Spanish guy, I'm sure he really does love Alonso. You know, I'm an Australian guy and I love, you know, Ricardo and Piastri. I liked Mark Webber. You know, you support the drivers that, you know, are from your country. So I feel like, why wouldn't he want it to happen? That's why I'm leaning more towards this potential rumor being about Alonso retiring. Now, if he does retire, I mean, you can expect a video of me rambling about how much I love Alonso, but that is a video that obviously we don't know if it's going to exist yet. The Aston Martin situation as well is something I might talk about um, more in a future video. I want to delve into why they've dropped off so much, but I think it is totally possible that Alonso is feeling 
demotivated again. I don't know, but I feel like if he is just not motivated, would that give him a reason to retire completely or just find a new team? If Alonso was retiring, I think it would go further than Aston Martin. He would really need to be fulfilled with his career and feel like he has done enough. And he really would, I think, Alonso would just say, look, I've really had enough. These rumors have fans going absolutely crazy, talking about what it could be, even debating about whether he's going to Red Bull or he's going to retire. These rumors have had Twitter especially just going absolutely crazy. People want to know what this rumor is. More people are talking about this. I think the idea of Alonso at Red Bull is just insane. I think it's so good and so exciting that it's just impossible. It really doesn't feel like something that could really happen. Because if Sergio Perez is to retire or get dropped as well, I mean, that leaves an open seat at Red Bull. Now, if they're going to go for Ricardo, I mean, I think that is probably more likely. But I mean, I feel like you just need to ask Alonso do you want to have one year with us? Do you want to see what it's like? I mean, seriously, but at the same time, do Red Bull really want two drivers like Verstappen and Alonso head-to-head? -head? I feel like that is a dangerous combination. I think those two would end up being bitter rivals. Those two are both so good. One of them's a young three-time world champion. The other guy's a two-time world champion veteran who could have won way more if luck was in his favor. So I think those two battling on track in the best car... I think it would be absolutely insane. Don't get it twisted. Alonso is a different animal. He is a different driver. He is not a driver you see in the sport every day. Generational. No matter how geared the car is to Verstappen, Alonso will get in and figure it out. Honestly, that for me is what Alonso does. He doesn't struggle. He just doesn't. We've seen him in terrible cars, cars that are underpowered, cars that don't really fit his style. But in the end, Alonso always wins. Sooner or later, he always comes out on top and makes that Formula One car an extension of himself. That is why he is so special. Now we need to wait and see exactly what this rumor is. So I'm gonna stay tuned and keep my eye on this, but please, Red Bull, just give Alonso one season.